Hi, Nicole here at Continental Sewing Center, and today we are going to do an applique from start to finish with all of the steps in between. So right now in front of you, we have our seven by 11 hoop, as well as our fabric canvas that we're going to stitch on and a sheet of cutaway stabilizer. We are going to hoop up our cutaway stabilizer and our canvas fabric. making sure everything is in the hoop nice and tight. And we are gonna tighten up our hoop screws just like that. After you have your shirt, your fabric hooped up in the hoop, it is now time to prep our fabric. The design that we are doing today is two different fabrics. So we have fabric one and fabric two up here at the top. We are going to iron both of these as well as adhere our heat and bond light to the back side of the fabric. Okay, so I have our fabric on the ironing board and we're going to iron it just to have all of the wrinkles out of the fabric. Then we are going to take our piece of heat and bond light. There is a paper side and then the adhesive side. The adhesive side is going to go down on the back side of our fabric and we're going to iron that in place. And we're going to do this for both of our fabrics. Once our heat and bond light is cooled, we are going to remove the paper from the fabric. And now we have a slight sheen on the fabric where you can see that the adhesion is on there. Now we are going to come to our embroidery machine. Today we are using the Brother Entrepreneur Pro X PR 1055 X. And we are going to pull up our design via our USB. And there is our design that we are going to be working with. And we are going to set the file. We are going to use our manual color sequence today to put our color changes and our needle assignments in there, as well as our color stops. So we are gonna to touch our manual color sequence. Our first color today is going to be needle one with the stop. Second color is also gonna be needle one with a stop. Third color is going to be needle number 10. And then we're gonna to go to needle nine with the stop and so forth and so on. Once you have all of the colors set, the machine is now ready to start stitching. All right, so we are going to press the lock and go button and it's going to do our first step of the applique. The first step of applique is your placement stitch. This will stitch onto the fabric to show you where you are going to lay your first piece of fabric.
the machine will stop because we told it to stop. And now we are going to lay our first piece of applique fabric on top of our placement stitch. Okay, so we are going to lay our piece of applique fabric print side up on top of our placement stitch. We are going to tell the machine to go ahead and stitch our second step. This is the tack down stitch. Okay, so our placement stitch has now stitched and we are going to take our double curved applique scissors and we are going to trim as close as we can without cutting the stitch line to the fabric. So we want to make sure that when our machine does the satin stitch, that it doesn't leave any fabric sticking out. Okay, so once you have trimmed all of your fabric away, your next step is going to be to do the satin stitching over top of your applique pieces and your final stitches for your details. Here we go. And now your applique is complete with all of our steps. Please like and follow and subscribe right here below at Continental Sewing Center.